We are two sisters with few fears and great ambition, ready to take on the world one ocean at a time. Welcome back, everyone, and happy Thursday. So after spending one night in Staniel Key, we picked up anchor and went to one of our favorite places in the Exumas, Shroud Key, where we explored a little bit and visited the rapids once again on our exit tour of the Bahamas. Alrighty, and next stop on our homeward bound crossings is Shroud going to stay here for the night and then move on. Yep, head up to uh, Nassau, stay there for a night and then We left Shroud Key. We headed to Highborn Key for the night, watched some 4th of July fireworks, which we did not video, and then took off to Nassau for a night in one of our best anchorages, West Bay. Boat dogs, boat dogs. We are currently on our way to Nassau and we're trying to stay dry. We just got in a squall, as you can see. And uh, getting a nice, we're getting a nice boat cleaning. Um, but we're almost in Nassau. We're gonna stay there for the night. Uh, Spirit Animal is also sailing with us right now, so. You can hear him on the radio. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this has been quite a sail back from the DR, you know, a lot of uh, new things. So really experiencing our sail, getting, making us experienced sailors. So yeah, fun stuff. Just trying to stay dry here. Hello. Hold on, let me just put 
obviously, I know that. I don't think it is. And then with one night in West Bay, we took off to Andros, getting one step closer to crossing the Gulf Stream and being back home. And we are off back to the States. That is it. We're saying goodbye to Andros. We stayed the night here. Just needed a stage up for uh, this crossing. We're about to cross from um, Andros down to Southern Banks, like South Riding Rocks, Wanting and Snow is our goal. Um, we got the boys in front of us. I don't know if you can see them. They're in the sun. Um, but we are all headed back to the States officially. They're headed to Bimini, so we're going to sail up to the Northwest Channel with them, and that is it for buddy boating for the season. So sad. We're going to miss all our friends. Everyone's been slowly just tapering off, and uh, we're the final two, so it's a bittersweet moment, but it's time to go, and it's time to head back to the States and get some work done and be a little productive, get this girl up in uh, her best shape, and then we will be back out. So we cannot wait to get back out, and it is a bittersweet moment. So the time has come, we're going home. It's been an amazing, amazing season. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't take anything back for a second. Every person we've met, every experience we've had has been just the best, you know. So it's kind of, it's like a it's like a sweet or a something sweet goodbye, sweet, sour sweet. But uh, I'm sure we'll see everyone again. Got uh, every, most people we know are going to be in Fort Lauderdale, so uh, and then uh, when we're ready, go back out. So yeah, I'll be back out here in like seven days for a job. Great season, seven months at sea. Wouldn't take it back for anything. After leaving Andros, we decided to follow the boys and take a small shortcut, which cut off two hours of our trip. However, it was a little risque for our six and a half foot draft vessel. But let's see if we make it. All right, so we're following in rafts tracks he's up there decided to take a little bit of a shortcut cut off with two hours of our trip could uh be a good thing in the end far side is looking good all right i am shiting my pants right now i'm Like, everything looks like a coral head. It's just grass, but still. Shaving two hours off our trip. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. <laughs> Yay! All right, so we made it. With all of the grass-looking spots that looked like coral heads, we made it to safety. And So we made it clear of our little shortcut, but now we got a little bit of weather that seems to have caught up to us. Probably the outer bands of the uh, hurricane here. 
but Hurricane Elsa. Hurricane Elsa. We've had a little bit of a wind increase, but I think the storm is moving faster than us, so should be fine. The rain is right there. It's coming. Oh, nope, it's here. <laughs> The rain is here. It's here, it's here, it's here. Yeah, so when I said, when I said the rain was here, it's here. We brought the head sail in because we weren't sure about the wind, but, oh, it's raining. And, just a little bit of a downpour. Oh, that was fun. Started the engine. Looks like most of the storm is in front of us. Got some blue skies here. A little bit more rain there. But, uh, yeah, I needed a shower. We're running like two knots, trying to slow down so the storm passes us, but going well. Yeah. I thought, you know, I'm already wet. Might as well stay wet <laughs> out here in this storm. Great. like that our little weather storm rain thing is past in front of us but now we have no wind we're at like six knots wind speed nothing our sail looks sad and wet <laughs> well <laughs> sad and wet is true sad and wet i'm wet but i'm not that sad I'm a little sad over the, over the wind, but it's all right. I wonder how the boys are doing. They're in it now, and I hear thunder, so no bueno. And we're skirting another squall. This has been a trip of squalls, but I guess we are sailing during the summertime. Um, I had to take the main sail down because we had one to two knots of true wind speed. So I took the mainsail down. Um, as you can see, we have this squall that we're skirting right now. It's moving south to north, and we're going east to west. So I'm really hoping that it's not gonna hit us. If it does, we're very on the edge. Um, I've seen some lightning in there, I've heard some thunder. So definitely not looking forward to hitting that. Um, there's just been squalls everywhere all day today. But yeah, I put the head sail out not too long ago. We had one to two knots of wind speed, which is nothing. So I took the main down. It went back up to like eight, nine-ish. So I put a little bit of the head sail out to see if that could help us get in front of the storm, the squall at all. And uh, it's not doing too much, but doing a lot of motoring, which is kind of sad. We had some really good winds this morning, and then squalls hit, and then wind was gone. So, but yeah, let's, uh, hope we don't hit this one. After surviving a shortcut and multiple squalls, we made it to South Riding Rocks, which was our gateway to the Gulf Stream, and then on to Florida. Well, today has been quite eventful. Uh, we've had about five squalls come through. We've had to take down the sails a couple times. Um, we've had no wind. We've been motoring the entire time. We've gone about 70 miles so far. We're just getting to South Riding Rocks on the edge of the Bohemian Banks where we're about to cross into the Atlantic Ocean. Wow, what an amazing seven months it's been and I cannot believe we're going back to the States. 
Like it just went by so fast. And we're so glad that we were able to take you guys along with us. But um, check out this sunset. Look at this, beautiful. Incredible, we got another squall over there. Very light winds, we're trying to keep the sails up. Hoping that they pick up um, once we get on the Gulf Stream. But look, this is just incredible. Cozy Luca, it's okay. Not a big sailor boy, but at least he's getting comfy. And Freya, you're just lounging. Natalie and I are watching some movies. Natalie's making dinner. White or black beans? Um, black. Making some soup because we have nothing left in our refrigerator. Wanna uh, see? Empty. Got some Besides champagne, some mayonnaise, capers, parmesan, ketchup, bouillon, some really, really old uh, corn tortillas. Like seven months old. Those yeah. corn tortillas we bought at Walmart before we came on the trip. I think it's time to get rid of them. Yeah. But yeah, we're running low on provisions. So that's another reason we need to get back to the States. We have no more food. We're gonna be eating black beans and mac and cheese for the next however long it takes us to get home. And soup. And soup. So Natalie's, Natalie's making Oh, we have some stale bread we can eat with our soup. <laughs> the only good thing to eat with stale bread is soup. And, oh. and ladies and gentlemen, I give you whatever's left in our pantry. AKA canned goods. Canned good soup. <laughs> canned good soup. And rice noodles. Yum, that looks good, 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 good. Yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's try it. That was hot. That was hot. Okay, maybe I'll wait a few minutes. Mm. You getting rid of your mushrooms? You getting rid of your shrooms? Yeah. Not a fan of the shrooms? No. No. Wanna try it? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Hot? Mm. <laughs> I'm proud of us. I'm very proud of us. Good job, Melly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would say that, um, <coughs> You know, a lot of people didn't think we could do it. Uh, a lot of people didn't think we could do a lot of things, but <laughs> we did it, and I'm sure you guys have noticed that we've done it. And uh, we're pretty proud of us, pretty excited for what is in store, because if we can do this, then... We can do anything. Yeah. We'll just... <laughs> Whatever we set our minds to, we can do it. <laughs> yeah. Even if it means talking to the sky for 30 days. Yeah, you know? At least we'll end up somewhere beautiful yeah. <laughs> at the end of it. <laughs> Alright guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Oh. Oh. We're not always going to know what we're doing. <laughs> this is literally a giant learning experience. I need a, I need a manual or something like... <laughs> What a morning, what a morning indeed. We did it! I